This is not something I just got in the mail. This is something I've had for quite a while. Uh, this is a Bluetooth speaker and it's totally dead. It does not work. There's no power that comes from it. None of these buttons do anything. So I'm going to be taking this apart. I'm going to cannibalize this thing to get the stereo system out of it. It has Harman Kardon speakers, uh, six and a half inch sub and two one and a half inch uh, mids highs. So it has pretty good sound. It's just a shame that the rest of it died. So I'm going to be taking this, chopping it up and making my own powered Bluetooth portable speaker system out of it. This little thing is one of the things I got today. This is one of the major components that's gonna make this work. What this is, is a small little amplifier. This thing is pretty cool. It's this tiny little package and it has a pretty much a 200 um, watt amplifier in it. It's just this little tiny box. It has controls on the front for frequency and the subwoofer volume. These are subwoofer controls. Then it has the left and the right channel for treble and bass, and then the main volume on off button over here. Another thing that this has is Bluetooth built in. So it has Bluetooth and, um, I'll just be able to have this inside of a box powering these speakers and um, be able to connect to it either with an auxiliary port or Bluetooth connection. So it's 12 volt or 24 volt. So I'm hoping to hook it up to something that I got in the mail from my favorite battery, lithium battery company, Okemo. Let me run inside and grab that. I'm gonna be opening that up to show you what's gonna be powering this little amplifier. So this, my friends, is a tiny Okemo 12 volt lithium battery this is a 20 amp hour battery so this is a very small uh, unit uh, i'm going to open it up show you what it looks like on camera real quick right now in the package you have uh, your little terminal uh, bolts to bolt down lugs to your terminals and then inside of here you have the cutest dang little lithium battery that you'd ever seen look at that little guy it's so cute this is gonna be powering my little stereo system. Uh, I like this because it does have uh, threaded post holes so you can connect terminals to this. It's very nice. Um, I'm just gonna to have to be getting, the only thing I'm missing out of this whole thing is that I need to get a lithium charger. Uh, it recommends a four amp lithium charger for this and all I have is chargers that are much bigger So I don't know if I'll be able to charge this with that big of a charger But uh, we'll see pretty soon. I'm gonna be putting together a Bluetooth portable stereo system That's powered by lithium. So I'm gonna start disassembling this Bluetooth speaker uh, Box I'm gonna make it way way smaller. It's not even gonna be close to this size the speaker module is a very small portion of the box, actually. This is sort of a top secret uh, product here, so I'm being vague intentionally. Don't even bother asking me what this is. Okay. Okay, that's all I need from this entire assembly. I'm not reusing any of the other parts. So this is the speaker module right here. It's only about four inches thick. Uh, it's really not that big. It's got a base port right here. So my idea is to just cut a piece of plywood that's bigger than this and cut this shape and screw it in. It'll actually be bolted from the back side of the plywood. I'll just make my own boom box. I'm staying alive. This will survive. See the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex zone. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squad shady, my bros rock. No breaks, we go, 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 go. Throw shade, that's a no, no, no. Go 
low, how you go low, 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 like spinning in a 644, cash money like 504, ball like AD24, no sleep, need more, 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 pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, you see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up, hop in my car and get it up, secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, you see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up, hop in my car and get it up, secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, We're looking at the back of the speaker right now and I've made some major upgrades, but I was like, I'm gonna have all this power. Why don't I be able to access it? So I added a USB outlet, it has two USBs and a USB-C and a power switch so I can turn it off. And it has the horrible uh, cigarette adapter port. There's just so many devices that do use this. I figured I would throw this in there too, even though I probably won't really use it much. But I also got something else in the mail today that's gonna uh, upgrade this speaker system even more. So what I got here is two OKMO batteries or OCMO batteries. Uh, these batteries are 15 amp hours each. Right now I have a 20 amp hour Akimo battery in in the speaker system and uh, I'm gonna be adding these two 15 amp hour ones to give me a grand total of 30 amp hours of lithium power inside of my homemade speaker system power station I've got a battery charger this is from Amazon it was really cheap a lithium 10 amp battery charger what I'm gonna do now is open these boxes where the new batteries came in and uh, start hooking them up into the system and possibly even get them fully charged as well because I have the battery charger out. I'm charging the 20 amp hour one right now. I gotta charge both of these to 100% before I connect them together so that they're in balance. And um, inside you get a uh, product manual, a little welcome card. You take out a layer of foam and then you have the OK Mo battery. Very simple, it's just a battery, but it should work really well. So there we have it. This is the OKMO OK 15 amp hour, 12 volt battery. It is tiny, it's uh, got a lot of power in it. Um, the only, one of the only downsides to this battery is that it has these uh, terminal connectors on it. So it's just a blade terminal, but these are not designed to put out a lot of amps, a lot of power. So a terminal is is uh, sufficient for connecting these batteries together. But we got two OKMO OK batteries, and uh, I think I'm gonna put them in the bottom of the case, side by side like that. I made this case to be able to fit these uh, 15 amp hour batteries, so they should fit in here just perfectly. I got a pack of these nice little Wago uh, connectors. They're tiny. You can connect multiple uh, things together in one terminal. Uh, they're like a little uh, bus bar. And um, they're nice. They're called lever nuts as well because they have this little, uh, little flap on the top. And all you got to do is just like fold that down and that clamps your wire in and they hold really well. Um, so I, right now I'm just putting these on my positive wire terminals for the 20 amp hour battery so that they just can't fall and touch each other or touch anything else and um, cause a problem. So here's the two connectors and you can just touch them together and you don't have to worry about it. I've got my speaker box all cleared out and I'm gonna be installing them something like this in this in this box. Man, I have room for so many more batteries. I could quadruple this. What I'm doing right now is I am making tails for these batteries. I have a terminal connector on this end, the female. The male is on the battery. So I have a black one and a red one. I'm gonna make two more of these to go on the other battery and then I'll be able to connect them in parallel. So right now I am just making battery terminals, uh, battery wires for these terminals. It has the female uh, little blade connector. On the battery is a positive, male, or is the male connector. Um, and I'm gonna, I just made a little bit of heat shrink. I have black ones 
and I have red ones, so one for the positive and one for the negative. Be very easy to tell which one's which. And I'm just using a little butane torch to heat shrink these. I do prefer to use a uh, heat gun. It makes a really much nicer uh, heat shrink, but if you're good and you move it around a lot, you can do a nice one with a lighter or a butane torch. There we have it. We got two black and two red that we are going to be putting these batteries in parallel with. Here I have my Wago connectors. I'm going to be grabbing out a couple of big ones. This is a five-way uh, Wago connector. I can put five different devices or power sources or whatever on this. So I'm going to be connecting these batteries using a Wago. So with the Wago connector, all you do is you just take your wire and you slip it in there. And then you just put down the little lever and it's totally solid, makes a nice connection. One thing that I like to do with these connectors too is I put them on the wire first. So that way, once I connect them to the battery, this wire is held inside of here and nothing can touch it or short it out. So you can connect these without having to worry about any shorts or the wires touching something that you don't want it to, to touch. So now these batteries are wired in parallel. We have the positive going to the positive, the negative going to the negative, connected by these Wago terminals. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna be making a little wire pigtail to go into these Wagos that is gonna connect to my battery charger and uh, put a charge on it, see how it does. I have been doing a lot of work on this speaker box and it turned out to be uh, way more work than I really anticipated putting into it, but it's going to be cool. This is the color that I chose. This is early American and, uh, I got to start assembling it. I just finished, uh, staining and sealing all of these boards. So now I got to assemble the entire system. So I'm going to start bringing parts over. Okay. I think that's really all the parts I need for right now. I have the back, the two sides and the bottom. I'm going to be attaching the front separately. I'm a little bit afraid that this is too soon to do all this because uh, it's still a little wet, but I am an impatient boy. I just want to show you where I'm at right now. I have the batteries installed. I have the lithium charger installed and I also have the shore power hookup for charging. So uh, I can just plug in an extension cord right here. The charger will always be located inside and I can just charge it up right here inside of it. I don't have to take anything apart. I got the two OKMO batteries right in here. They are both 15 amp hour. So I have a total of 30 amp hours. I have them in parallel to retain 12 volts. And this whole system runs on 12 volts. So uh, this is gonna go over to the amplifier that's gonna run the speakers. And then this is gonna go over to my charging ports. I have USBs, USB-C, and um, a cigarette adapter port for charging whatever I'd like. This has got a pretty serious battery in it, so might as well use it to its full potential and use it to charge stuff as well. So. Um, these boards are in here just to keep the batteries in place so nothing can move. If I drop this or whatever, I don't want it to be able to shuffle around and uh, I don't want it to vibrate in there either. So it's coming along.
So this is it. This is the finished product. The only other thing I might do is add a little handle here that I can carry it with. But for right now, I think it's great. Um, I love it. It looks awesome. I mean, it sounds good. Yeah, there's really, it really came out nice. I really like it. Everything about it is really cool. So that is it. Thank you to OKMO OK for providing the lithium batteries that went into this homemade DIY power station speaker box uh, all together, all in one. Uh, it's got 30 amp hours of OKMO OK lithium power inside. And uh, this thing will run for probably about two weeks. Listening to it a lot, charging my phone. It's a lot of lithium power in this little speaker box. Pretty freaking cool. Over here, I have the stereo controls. This is the volume. And then there's bass, treble, subwoofer volume, and frequency. And then up here, I have some ports for charging stuff. This is a uh, USB-C, two USB-As, and there's a little power switch on there too, so I can just turn it off if I don't need it. Turn it back on. I can also cover it for a little protection from the rain, and I can still see the display. Uh, it's 13.6 volts right now because I am charging it. And over here, there is a crappy cigarette adapter port. That will probably remain closed most of the time. But uh, if I have to blow up a mattress or something, there's some devices that use this stupid connection. We should definitely get rid of it. But, um, you know, I figured I would add it just in case I came across something that needed to be charged. Then over here on the side, there is a charging port. This is a NEMA 15. Um, you know, it's a very small device in there that's charging. It's only a three amp lithium 12 volt charger, but anytime I want, I can just take an extension cord and, uh, plug it in. It's just a three, three prong plug. Um, I think I really thought of everything on this. Like it's really pretty awesome. Like it's a lot of power and it's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of power, a lot of lifetime life, like battery life. Uh, and the ability to charge and run things off of it. So I could run lights off of this, USB lights, whatever I wish. And uh, man, it came out pretty awesome. I've been wanting a nice speaker. I can play nice and loud and play music while I'm building my cabins and whatnot. I have a lot of work to do on these babies. But uh, hopefully this speaker will help me get things done, you know? Uh, really is kind of like motiv motiv motivating to have music to play and listen to while you're uh, while you're working. So that's it for today's video. This is just a homemade DIY speaker power station that I just made from little parts that I ordered on Amazon. I will list everything that you see in this build in the description of the video below. The OKMO OK batteries, the amplifier for the speakers, the charging ports, the lithium charger, all of that will be listed in the description of this video below in case you want to build something like this yourself. I mean, you really don't need the speakers. If you just want to build a power station, you can do it yourself super, super easily. And it would be way smaller. I mean, the size of the batteries are like tiny. They're like this much of it. It's just like the bottom little row. The speaker is really what made this the size that it is. But Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in another video really soon, right down the road. Until next time, see ya. See you next time, buddy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See ya, baby. Bye, I'll see you later. Oh, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. I, I really appreciate it. I'm going to plug my phone in and charge it from my power station right now. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. It's coming up really soon, right down the road. Bye-bye-bye. Bye. 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 bye.